decide to be above that is not poor, below that poor, not absolute, but relative po poverty. And therefore, there are still many basic needs still to be met uh, amongst ASEAN communities. And economic development still needs to be a priority. This is to me the uh, premise upon which a green agenda is to be formulated in ASEAN. One question I may ask in order to bring this home, who on earth in ASEAN would care about the so-called carbon footprint if that person hasn't even got a pair of shoes? Do you think he would care or she would care about carbon footprint when his or her footprint is there on the earth because no slippers, no shoes because too poor? And this is not uh, uh, something, uh, you know, as a joke. It's a fact of life. You may not see people walking barefoot in America, or in Europe, but in ASEAN, many, from children to grandfathers and grandmothers. So the basic development needs are still there. But it does not mean that mutual, uh, green agenda or saving uh, the environment and development are mutually exclusive. That is also what governments must remember. For us in, in ASEAN, unlike developed countries, where there is now the need to undo decades of environmental neglect. Yeah? In ASEAN, we are fortunate that we are at that level of development where there is still opportunity for forward planning to include the green agenda into our overall development goals and programs. You see, because we are not, we are not yet developed, there's still a lot of room for expansion. So in that expansion of economies, we can factor in and, and dovetail the green agenda. And in this context, while we do the green agenda in ASEAN, developed countries can also help in the greening of ASEAN uh, through, for example, technical cooperation, technology transfer, effective and optimal use of the carbon credit facility, and also funding of programs and projects for environment protection and care. For example, awareness programs, uh, programs for information dissemination regarding climate change. I'm telling you, not everybody knows what is climate change. We know because we happen to be a little bit involved in it. But ask the layman, what is climate change? For Malaysia, maybe some would say uh, rain or shine. Yeah? Uh, in Europe, it may be, well, winter, summer, spring, autumn. That's climate change. I don't, are you, Vincent, can you actually vouch for the fact that every European knows what climate change is all about? Of course. You know, there are those who are living in outlying areas. I mean, this is a fact of life in every community. So climate change sometimes, to my mind, uh, is the preoccupation of the enlightened and those with the energy and the resources to debate on it. Believe you me, those who have, uh, you know, do high in a situation of hand-to-mouth, uh, you know, uh, living every day, I don't think climate change is in their mind. The farmers, it rains, terrible climate change, because they need to plant. And if it doesn't rain when the crops are there, it's terrible climate change because... But then you can tell them, that's why we are talking about climate change. This happens because uh, something else has started it. And then the awareness comes, how they can start the ball rolling to make sure that, that weather doesn't change the way that is adverse uh, to what they expect in terms of harvesting, planting, and so on. So we need uh, this kind of uh, cooperation between developed and developing countries in ASEAN. We have our European friends, American friends, Japanese, uh, who are all part and parcel of the ASEAN++ Plus Plus programs. And maybe this is one area that we can focus on. Not so much funding anything big, but funding awareness programs will do a long, long way. I'll be very happy if one day soon one of my grandchildren tells me, Grandma, your lights are not energy saving. And I would say, ah, we have succeeded to some extent to plant the idea of saving our planet on these little kids. Where, in the opposite, you know, where they switch on the TV without switching it off, you know what I mean, or turning on the lights till morning. They don't understand this uh, carbon emission, this use of uh, energy unnecessarily. So certainly, ladies and gentlemen, awareness of what climate change entails and what needs to be done at both the micro and macro levels will result in societies and peoples of ASEAN uh, who care about their, to care about their planet 
and who, get, who then can begin to work out their own responsibilities uh, to save the planet. So I hope that, uh, like Peter, conferences like this will come up with some ideas that we can uh, propose to governments, propose to those who are able to formulate necessary policies and monitor them, that in every small way, like big jigsaw puzzle, like incremental steps, uh, help a society to understand their roles in saving the planet. So thank you very much, and I hope that we have a good dialogue. Thank you.